Clay, and welcome to Knit Pickers PEI in beautiful downtown Mayfield. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to cast off. I personally find that it's a little bit firmer than a traditional cast off, but it can be used in just about any application. So shall we give it a try? So here's my little swatch that we're going to cast off. To start, I just take the tail of my yarn and I've put it through a little darning needle here. So to start, I'm going to take my darning needle and pass it through the first two stitches and then I'm going to pass it through the first three stitches. and then I'm going to slide my first stitch off the needle. And I'm just going to carry on with that, going through three stitches, and dropping the first one off the needle, and through three stitches and drop that first one off the needle and I'm just going to continue doing that until I reach the last three stitches and I'll show you how we finish it off. And so here we are back. I'm down to the final four stitches here. I've just dropped the last stitch off the needle. So I'm going to go through the three stitches, drop that off the needle. I'm down to three stitches now. Go through all three stitches Drop that last stitch off the needle and then go through these two stitches and drop them both off the needle. And then I would just weave my tail in and there is your cast off edge. It does have some stretch but I do find it to be just a little firmer than some other cast off techniques. So isn't that just about the easiest cast off technique you've ever seen? I hope you'll give it a try. And in the meantime, happy knitting.